You, you know, both psychology and uh, being a priest or spirituality have to do with helping people. So we, bo we both help people. The, the, the difference between the two, I think, is that as a psychologist, I often deal with things that are involve what we call a lack of freedom. Since I'm a priest, I have that call of like healing people. So how should I do that? What is the call within a call that I have? So that's how I ended up doing, you know, masters in psychology. Because at the confessional I saw, people are coming to me with a with lot of sins. And I saw like the root cause of many sins coming from their mental illness or like the, the issues from their past life. I had worked as a priest for I think 13 years, 12, 13 years. And in my experience in ministry, a lot of people were coming to talk with me individually about their issues or couples would come for counseling and all that sort of stuff. I find actually a lot of people who uh, say that they want spiritual help really are looking for psychological help. They've been trying, like they've been praying, they've been going to church, they've been asking about it, but it, it still doesn't get to the problem. And I think sometimes as a psychologist, I'm able to like cut through things and, and get to, I say a deeper human reality. It's a deeper human reality. You, you know what's interesting is a lot of what we use in psychology actually is used in spirituality. There's a lot that we do in prayer that's actually very healthy for people. I think I can solve anything, so I, I don't limit God at all. But sometimes we ourselves are not open, and so we say we're praying, we say we're open to God, but maybe we're not. As a priest, I would work with a person first and try to help them do this from a spiritual perspective. But when I see that it's not working, um, then sometimes I might use psychology. I knew that I didn't know what I was doing, <laughs> in, but I was really interested in the individual work with people. So I asked the, the provincial and his council for permission to uh, pursue graduate studies. And so I applied for and got accepted to the doctoral program at Loyola College for a program in uh, pastoral counseling. They assumed that you would have a master's degree at least in theology, and then they would provide the clinical training for uh, the counseling. But the focus was an integration of theology and pastoral work with uh, counseling. When the provincial was asked by the Benedictine community to consider assigning me to work with seminarians, it was, it was a decent fit you know, for uh, being able to use the, the degree. Yeah, so I was already a Capuchin and a priest, and I was in Papua New Guinea, one in the missions there. And they wanted me to do formation work, so to help form priests and brothers in the order. So what I studied first was pastoral counseling. And this enabled me to talk to guys in formation, listen to them a little bit more closely. It was, it was a very good addition to what I learned in theology. Later in life, I actually did the doctorate in psychology. That was because I had returned to the States and thought that would be helpful in working with seminarians. I do a lot of the candidate assessments for those that are coming into priesthood or religious life. And then later in life, I studied spiritual theology again. I went to uh, the Theresianum in Rome. In studying spiritual theology, I got to understand even better theological anthropology, how to apply the spiritual life to help people. So it, it's a great combination. I, I think both fields are helpful in my life. Knowing psychology allows me to deal with especially problem issues. And, but uh, also a good understanding of spirituality has helped me to see how so much really is about the soul of the person. Once I did my master's uh, in psychology, I understood that you know there are many ways I can help people. And you know, if we go through the gospels, we can see Jesus did so many ministries, but the dominant ministry that Jesus did was healing ministry. So he healed people mentally, emotionally, spiritually, relationally, all the ways. So as a priest, I'm called to continue with that healing ministry. I went to St. Luke Institute because I had been working in seminaries for a long time and doing psychological assessments and uh, counseling of not only seminarians but religious and priests. And this, this was a perfect fit for the mission of St. Luke Institute. And when I got there, things opened up even more because it was at that time that the USCCB was 
coming up with a new policy for psychological assessments of seminary candidates. And we were able to help them to develop that, but also we were able to develop a, a process for assessing candidates that's, that's really very good because it's important that the church have good, healthy people that are coming into seminaries and into religious life. The structure of the program for priestly formation is a policy set forth by the United States Catholic bishops for all priests being trained in seminaries and religious communities in the United States. They divide up formation into four parts. Uh, one of it is uh, human formation, then spiritual formation, intellectual formation, and pastoral formation. Doing counseling at the seminary comes under human formation. So it's the foundational thing of just helping the young men who are in college uh, you know, develop their sense of identity, uh, get to know themselves, uh, help them through any mental health stuff and their growth issues, all that sort of stuff is, is what I do. One of the key things they need to do, and it's kind of a, an emphasis at, at conception, is that human formation, because everything else is based on just being a solid human being. <laughs> so they do their college level work uh, with, at uh, conception, then they go on to a major seminaries elsewhere to get their final four years of, of theological training. There's so many struggles both in the world and in the church. It's important to have people who can walk with priests and religious. Probably the most difficult thing I've seen is when they, in a sense, have lost uh, the feeling of being a priest. They, they no longer look at themselves primarily as priests and uh, our healing process is not only to help them recover from whatever difficulties they have, many of them have burnout, but to rediscover their vocation. So it's, a, it's a, not only psychological treatment, but spiritual treatment. We cannot escape from the wounds that the world inflict on us, especially when we were children. These unhealed inner wounds can be open doors for Satan to enter into our life and mess up with our life. I encourage people, my clients, to if their spiritual life is not that strong, I ask them to be faithful to prayer life, especially to sacrament, especially the sacrament of reconciliation and Eucharist. And I always notice that when my clients are really faithful to these two sacraments, you know, like sacrament of confession and sacrament of Eucharist, I see their healing process is moving, very, like recovering, they recover very fast. There's a different anthropology used in, in spirituality than we find in psychology. In fact, in psychology, ethically speaking, I'm not supposed to impose any type of anthropology or any type of mindset on another person. But in our Catholic faith, we know that we're created in the image of God, that we're created to be given the, the spirit of Jesus Christ so that we were sons and daughters of God. As a psychologist, I can't like push a person in a certain direction. I have to respect their perspective. But as a, as a priest, I need to consider, no, this is how they're created. Something's been given to us by the faith. And I always notice when people mess up with their relationship with God, they mess up with other three areas. As a psychotherapist and priest, what I am doing is I am bringing harmony into these four levels, body, mind, relationship, and God. Making quality mental health support available for everyone, especially for the poor, is my main purpose or goal. And I do all these things because in the Bible, Jesus said that freely you receive, so freely you have to give back. And, and psychology for me is just a tool. It's a good tool, I can use it for certain things. Uh, sort of like medicine is a, is a tool, it's something that can be very helpful. Uh, but the goals are different. Psychology is essentially just to bring the person to, uh, to be stable, to good mental health. You know. And uh, spirituality is to bring them to a deeper relationship with God, a deeper relationship with the church, with, with the, the people around them. In fact, many people can go to, say, their, their pastoral counselor, their, their priest, and they can find help from that person just to learn to relax, be, be calm, and again, to engage in relationships in a healthy manner. So as a priest, as a confessor, and as a psychotherapist, 
Now I can understand people much better.